with you. My name is Rebecca, also known as Evil Twin 2. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Evil Twin 2. You can find our Ravelry group called I Will Knit With You on, well, Ravelry. If you need to email me, you can email me at owlknitwithyou at gmail.com or visit the blog at owlknitwithyou.blogspot.com. Yeah, I think that's all right. How have you guys been? Oh my gosh, this week has been completely exhausting. <laughs> Today, um, I was doing a bunch of errands and I came home and sometimes I do my day out of order and I went to go take a shower and my water is off because someone's toilet has a leak in my apartment building and so they turned off all the water until they figured out who it was. So I called my landlord and hopefully someone will be coming by soon to turn that back on so I can take a shower because I look like a smelly mess. Yay! <laughs> no, my week's actually been pretty good. Um, lots of exciting stuff in the mail that I'm going to show you. Uh, but not as much as some weeks because some weeks I overstash and that's just how it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. The group has like doubled in size. What? This is crazy. Um, so check out my crazy big list again. Wow. I'm gonna read them off to you guys. Okay, but here's the thing. After this week, if you don't introduce yourself in the introduction thread, I'm not talking about you. Okay? Because it is getting hard to keep track of all you new people. And I want to say all your names, but I also want to get to meet you. And if you don't introduce yourself, well, that's just silly. You you went through the effort of joining the group. Just come say hi. It's not hard. I'll be nice to you. I promise. I try to respond to everyone who, who says hi. Because I feel like, duh. It'd be weird if someone didn't say something to you. So, um, Java Jenny is Jenny from Wisconsin. One Fine Cow is Doris from Missouri. I think that's Missouri. I put M-O. That's probably Missouri. Mal Milu is Emilu from Colorado. Um, Kim Bell Makes is Kelly from. I put Evanston. I think it just said Evanston on her thing. Mandy Cat is Amanda from Tennessee. Win Meg is Wendy from New York. That's another New York person. You guys, do you know each other? Devnitz 2 is Debbie from Connecticut. Knitlot is Clara from China. You guys, we're international. Also international is Mopey Amanda. Moppy? Mopi, Amanda from, who is Amanda from the UK. We also have Wool Diaries, who is Sally from South Africa. Oh my gosh. Um, Oak Creek Cottage is Renee from Texas. Christy Rose is Christy from Louisiana. Um, Memes Are Fun is Cheryl, also from Texas. Simona Maloney is Simona from Ohio. Stacy78 is Stacy from New York, another New Yorker. Seminary Girl is Cynthia from Michigan, and Sam Sanrum is Sandra, also from the UK. You guys, UK, South Africa, China, Texas, and New York. So that's like my viewing area now, I guess. So, uh, I would love to meet you guys, and I will be at the Iowa Sheep and Wool Festival, which is mid-June, so like, I think it's 16th, 17th, whatever the weekend is, that's mid-June. Um, and also, I think I'm going to be at YarnCon in early April, so that's exciting. Come and join me. I'm going to put my whiteboard on my tripod. Do, 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 do. Here's some music while I do this. Um, so, like I said, I'm on Instagram, and you Instagrammers find the coolest things. So there's this thing called the Bullet Journal, which I will totally link to. And it's just a way of keeping track of your day-to-day -day stuff. And I was going to show you mine, but I... For the first day, have lost it. I'm pretty sure it's in a room that I was working at, at last night at work, so it should be fine. Um, and otherwise, I was gonna show you all the cool stuff, so I'll have to show you next week. Bummer. Um, the other thing also has the word bullet in it. It's bullet coffee, and bullet coffee is actually coffee with butter and coconut oil in it. And I know that sounds super weird, and if you let it cool off, it tastes kind of gross. But um, actually, coffee. And other hot drinks are served with butter instead of cream around the world because it's the right kind of fat instead of the bad kind of fat. And you only use certain types of butter. It's crazy. Look it up. I will also link to that. Um, you guys, March starts on Saturday. Are you so excited? So from March to April, and maybe longer, it depends on where people are at, we are going to be doing a sock along. No specific sock, but there's just a lot of people in the group who are novice sock knitters or have socks they're working on they're not sure about or have never even knit a sock because it's just terrifying 
And I think that's silly. We should all just knit together. That's what Ravelry is all about. I'm doing this with my hands. That's what Ravelry is all about. Um, so in the group, there is now a thread called Sock Prep. I think something like that. So um, in there, you can post your pictures of your needles and your yarn and ask questions about getting started. And I'll also make a thread called Sock It To Me, which is going to be more like um, progress socks. Like, hey, I'm in the middle of this sock and how the heck do I turn a heel or what's a gusset so we can all figure it out together I I know some sock things but my sock things are kind of sock novice things um so speaking of socks let me show you my sock stuff and I just saw one of them across the room so hold on while well, I get my sock things Okay, so I've shown you my collie wobbles before. Um, they're all stretched out right now because I just wore them. But here is my first collie wobbles, which I finished, uh, you know, months and months and months ago. It has this fantastically cool pattern on the front and some lovely yarn. And I was like, I'm gonna knit my other collie wobbles, and I ran out of yarn. So for one, it's like crazy shorter, and also the toe is like super splendid, fantabulous. I used three different colors of yarn because I was like, if I'm going to have goofy looking socks, I'm going to stripe that sucker. This sock is too long. <laughs> it is too big and it fits my boyfriend's foot and not my foot. So I'm going to try and wash it in hot water and um, tighten it up a little bit. But then you can see the pattern really well in my sock toe. Um, but I don't really want to give him my socks. So the other one fits fine. It's just this one I, I'm just, you know, several months later my knitting has changed. And they don't look, well, I guess now they do. So that's the difference right there. So speaking of learning about socks, can you like undo the toe and rip back and like re-knit it? Does that work? Is that a sock thing? Someone let me know in the um, sock it to me thread, which should be up by now. Cause I need to know this. I want my sock to fit. Um, and I have plenty of these other three colors of yarn, the teal, the purple and the red and blue. So let me know and I will fix my sock. Or, you know, I'll just keep washing it in hot water till it fits. Because that's about how I am. Um, the next sock, so that's a finished pair of socks. And I told you I wanted to finish my three pairs of socks before I moved on. So I finally have a sock with a mate. My next pair of socks is Clandestine, which was a nitty free pattern. Um, I think it's by Cookie A, actually. And if you look on Ravelry, the pat pattern costs money. But if you go and search nitty, super free. It has this crazy, like, clamshell patterning. Can you see that? It's lovely. I have no idea what yarn this is. I bought this in St. Louis um, on the Loop, which is Del Mar, if you don't know St. Louis. Um, I don't know what the store was called. It's closed now. I wondered if it was the Loopy U, because I know people will talk about that being in St. Louis and then moving somewhere else. So all I know is it was sock yarn, because I asked someone to help me find some sock yarn. This is what I got. So here is where I'm, where my first one is. This is my second one. So I've just started doing the uh, circular baby pattern stuff and throwing it on the ground. Um, but it's going really good and I feel like I understand what's going on a lot more than I did when I started this one. Oh, have you seen these things? These things are crazy. So new sock knitters or sock knitters without lots of fancy stuff. This is my sock needle holder so if you pull the top off there's my needles and then you pull this out and it's got a hole for your knitting right fancy fancy stuff and if you use small enough stitch markers they'll totally fit it's cool uh, but that way I can keep it in my purse without fear of my stitches just flying everywhere because I like metal needles and that's not conductive to non slidey stitches so um, I'm gonna keep working on that before I start my next pair of socks um, and I still have one more sock to knit, which is my purple boyfriend sock, which I did last time in like two days, you know, so hopefully I can do that this weekend, get those two socks knocked out of the way. We'll see. Um, so speaking of knitting things, I got a finished object for you all. Um, remember that swap monster I was showing you? Here's a swap monster, Hexy Puff. Da -da -da. And this is the last Hexy Puff I made because I have to focus on like real knitting for a while and I need to finish that sock before I can knit more Hexy Puffs. So, but that's still exciting. I finished my, I'm gonna lean back because this is big. I finished my Follow Your Arrow shawl 
It has already gotten to leave the house. It is huge. It is so huge. And I would back up the camera and show you, but I think you get the idea. So I did block it, and it's got a little pointy ends, and I think it turned out really, really well. And it's gorgeous. Hello, you can still see me. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to wear it yet. The way I wore it outside of the house was I actually scrunched it all up and wore it as a scarf. And it was crazy warm, and someone was like, ooh, it's all lacy and pretty. And I was like, yeah, let me show you. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But I feel like if I just wear it over my shoulders like a shawl, then I look like a grandma. Which I am not opposed to because I am walking around with knitting needles 90% of the time. And everyone at work knows that I knit. But, you know. I'm going to wear it right now. It's cuter than my uh, Invader Zen t-shirt. So, you know. I needed a t-shirt because I'm not going to wear this to work. I need to take a shower first. I feel so gross. Okay. Um, so, exciting excitement, exciting stuff. I got my first Fibery box. So there's lots of subscription boxes out there, and I had mentioned Fat Fiber to you all, and it totally came in the mail, and it is totally extra splendiferous. Look at all this goodness. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to show you briefly, because there's a lot of stuff, and I realize that looking at someone else's stuff is not as much fun as having it yourself. So um, I'm going to go really quick. I am not going to list these all in the show notes, because you can go to the Fat Fiber website and see all the links to all the stores, and that is... Um, they deserve hits on their website, so do that instead of looking at my website for this stuff. Look at my website for everything else. So I got this little, um, bag by Starnitz, and she's actually Alina from, um, the Weasley Sisters podcast, who if you are in the Harry Potter knit crochet house cap, which is kind of like all the time Revel Revelinix, it's really fun and competitive, um, but less intense, somehow. She has a, a podcast that focuses a lot on that, so that's really cool. Um, this is Fluorite by Hello Pearl. There's going to be lots of bag rustling here for a couple seconds. Um, and it was an art bat, but now it is an art mini scheme. Look at it. It is glorious. It has, like, gold and teal and purple and orange and yellow. So I'm excited to, to knit that up into a hexy puff because all my mini schemes are going to be hexy puffs because why not? What else are they going to be? Seriously. Um, this magical white bag has this cute little, oh my gosh, I'm throwing stuff. This is by Lady Llama Fiber Company, and I'm throwing stuff still. So the thing with this box was geekery. Look at that. And everything in here is like all sorts of exquisite fibers. I don't think there's anything in here that's just wool. Now, I'm, that's going to be like just wool. I'm sure it's llama though, because it says llama on it. I don't know. There's a lot to keep track of. Um, and there's even some really interesting fibers. Like, this is dorset horn, which is, I, I'm not sure what that means. Um, and that is quantum dots, colorway. It's a science thing. This is, uh, I'm trying not to show you the name tags because a lot of the name tags have coupon codes on them. And I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Also, if you order a fat fiber box, coupon codes like crazy and then if you buy stuff from them you can s say hey I bought from this shop in the Ravelry group and enter to win um, prizes. So this is Lutheran Fibers um, New Zombie on the Block. I've got Lilu Dallas which is from the Fifth Element. Er, don't show that. And it's very cute. It kind of matches my little bit. A little matchy matchy. Uh, Multi-pass and that is from Mama Jude's. I've got, um, this is Ratatouille by Betsy B. Fibers. Very pretty. I've got, da -da -da. Where are you? Sunset Stitches in the Unexpected Party, which is Hobbit themed. Very cute. Um, this is Forest Moon. This one actually is Merino, 100%, um, by Tail and Tendril. Look at it. it. Looks super foresty. Um, this is Nunco's Chromatops. So it's a little two ounce sample of all their different colors of stuff. This is also, see, I lied. This, some of them are just uh, wool, but I am super excited. Um, this is Blended Merino Wool Tops, 21 Micron, non muscled South American Merino. I've been wearing at their Etsy store for a really long time, and I mean, look at these. How fantastic is that? 
I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, we got Seuss's Splendor Fine. With this is 50% merino, 50% bamboo. Super fast. Because I have lots of good stuff to show you guys. This is um, Friends in Fiber, Spin Free or Die. So it's lots of dark greens and a little bit of navy. I know that bag is super reflective. Um, we've got... That is something else. Um, oh, I didn't grab the card for this one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's right here. This is All for Love of Yarn. And this one's called The Lovely Twist. And it was wrapped around the card it came on, which is clever. But I spun it into a mini skein because mini skeins are so super cute. These are my first mini skeins, by the way. Um, not counting the one that I spun up because that was from this box anyway. This is Don't Blink, which is obviously a Doctor Who reference, from Wandering Wool. Look at that. It's lovely. So I've never showed you guys, but there's a tattoo on my finger. It's a mustache. I had it before the mustache craze, I promise. Um, I'm not like a super crazy hipster or something. Although I am a knitter and a spinner, so I mean, maybe I am. This is called Heisenberg's Finest, and it's obviously inspired by the Breaking Bad show. Um, this is by Row of Pearls, and it is 75% merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina. And it kind of has a sparkle to it. Focus, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Can you see it? Anyway, that's going to be exciting to knit with. Um, and then on top of that, you get a million and a half little goodies. So... This is Gloria Patre stitch marker. I'm trying to cover up all the information because I don't want to give away any stuff that I'm not supposed to. It says live on it. Live. Um, I've got doo -doo -doo. this is Winemaker Sisters. Good for knitters. Stitch markers, soft goods, jewelry, paper goods, hand lettered mugs. And they made TARDIS keychains. So a little keychain. We got that's just a promo code. Um so this is South Pass Beads, and this is a like a transistor, or that's not the right word. But it is from um it's a computer or radio part. It's super tiny. Look at it. Ah! Okay. I hold it against this white bit. Can you see it now? Yeah, look at that little thing. Um, we've got... So someone made stitch markers and that someone would be exchangingfire.com based on all the Doctor Who girls. So this one is Amy in this little red bead. Ta -da! And then I've got a... Sidewinding Button by Twin Mommy Creations. Look how pretty. Get excited. Oh, and my color just changed. So, hold on. Ah! Focus. My balance. Um, and then, of course, there's lots of little tiny promo codes, which I'm not going to show you because that would be bad. And all of that little bitty stuff came in this cute little silver bag. So how exciting is that? And it came in this crazy big box. Box of wonder. And now there's just stuff all over my floor. <laughs> so um, that's a fat fiber box. And um, if you want to see everything more in depth and hear more information about all of them, they do have videos where they go through everything in the box. And the way it works is um, you can pick just yarn or fiber and yarn. Fiber and yarn, that's what I'm doing with my hands. And um, if you do that, then they will kind of mix it and match it. Like, not everyone gets all the same fiber. Like, there were a lot of fibers I didn't get and some yarns I didn't get. Uh, but I think all the yarn people pretty much get all the same yarns. Not 100% sure on that. Don't hold me to it. Uh, this is my first box, so I'm still figuring it all out. So that's one of my stash enhancements. And the other is just some nitpick stuff that I needed slash wanted. So my aunt is having a baby. 
Um, and she already has one, because I have one aunt that um, is working on having children scientifically, because she can't without. And that happens. Um, so this is some Sport Weight Knit Picks Brava. Because Brava is completely washable. And it is acrylic, because why would I give babies wool? Like, they're just going to barf on it, and it's going to need to be washed. And you can't wash wool that easily. So, it's a pink and a purple because we found out it's going to be a girl. And um, I'm super excited to make that baby stuff. I have more balls of it. I got two balls of each color. And I'm going to see how far that gets me because I have not finished any baby clothes that I've started. So I thought, let's just get two balls. Let's not go super crazy. I'm going to do clothes and not a blanket because this kid has plenty of blankets. So um, for the sock along that's coming up, I got myself some circular knitting needles because I thought that my interchangeable set from Knit Picks went down to like size 1 and 2 and it doesn't. It goes down to size 4 and that's where it stops. So, um, I've been looking at these Caspians, and I just told you I don't like bamboo, so we'll see how this works out. Um, but the Caspians are this lovely blue-green. You, you know what, I made these out of the bag, because I think you can see them better if I did that. But I got them in size 1 and size 2, um, because depending on the sock, I have used both, um, sizes for stuff. Can you see that? Look at it, it's so pretty. They have ones that are rainbow-colored, and I much prefer, like, the chill ones. And instead of the Knit Picks purple cord, you get a green cord. How exciting. So this is the size 1, and this is my size 2. So I'm going to put this back in the bag before I break or lose it, though. Because I tend to do stuff like that. Um, but that will be for my socks. I'm going to be knitting, once I finish my other socks, knitting toe-up socks with a difference. They'll be my first toe-up socks. And I'm super excited. And the yarn that I'm going to be using for that is my Noro that I showed off, showed off in my first episode. <gasps> lovely, lovely Noro. Noro, Noro, Noro. Everything should stripe itself. Stripes for everyone. Um, other projects that I'm working on. Oh, by the way, Hexi Puffs. If you are a Hexi Puff knitter, in the group there's a, there's a thread called Strut Your Puffs. And it's kind of like Strut Your Stuff. Get it? Yeah? Um, show me your hexi puffs. I want to see them. I want to see all your hexi puffs. I'm gonna get cool ideas. And I've also found a couple places that have fantastic, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, I'm so sorry, that have fantastic patterns and grids with pattern ideas for like making, you know, ones with little squirrels on them or whatever. So how exciting. Um, so since I finished my lovely, my lovely, uh, Follow your arrow shawl, which I did on size eight circulars, made by uh, the patterns by Yosolda Teague. Yes. Um. Again, I've been working on my Ginny's cardigan, or Ginny's cardigan, or however you say that name in Harry Potter. So it has this lovely back part. Lovely. And I'm just a couple more rows on that. I did do all my short rows though, so this is a little bit higher over here. Short rows are done. So that's exciting. Um, but I'm mostly working on my sleeves because for the Harry Potter Knit Crochet House Cup, I said that I'd be halfway through the body, which is three colors, which is about where I'm at, and also done with my sleeves. And I'm not done with my sleeves yet, and this is for an owl in the Harry Potter Knit Crochet Cup. But I'm about... I'm nearly done with the sleeves. So four colors in. They're not as long as they probably should be, but they're also not done yet. So they go up to about me elbow, and then you go to about my armpit. So like that far? Look at my lovely arms. I like a little bit on my hand. Um, and so given how long this is, if I do that long of a piece again, I think that'd be about right. I think it'll get there. Um, and this is all nitpicks switch. We have the bottom color is jade, then wasabi, then honey, and this is pea pod. And the next color will be cornmeal, which is a light yellow. Look at me, I remembered all of them. Um, also in my box. So do you remember that beautiful wool I showed you from Ren and Ollie that came with the Wonder Woman sample? I spun up the Wonder Woman sample and it is so tiny. I'm gonna get a piece of white. Case of white! 
I'm gonna use this bag so you can actually see it. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it is red with some blue in it. I don't know why that's so dark. It's so dark. The lighting is weird in my apartment, and I'm trying to figure out the best place. See, like this looks fine. This looks dark. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Um, but it's red and blue, and it has some gold in it. It's awesome. Um, I drop spindled this, and it is a very, very light fingering. It is crazy thin. Um, so we'll see how well that knits up, but I'm excited about it. I just get excited about yarn in general, though. Yay! We are almost at 50 members, you guys! So, when we hit 50 members, do you know what happens? Somebody's getting a prize. It'll be the first prize awarded on this show. So, how, what kind of prize are you getting? Well, that depends on who wins. That's right. So, um, I will either send you a skein of yarn that I choose, or, for funsies, you can request a care package. Now, how does a care package work? I will ask you, I'll send you probably like a 10 question questionnaire so that I can get a better understanding of things that you enjoy. And not all of those will be in your care package, you gotta keep it a little secretive, but then I will mail you a care package um, within five days of you winning. Okay? And that's five days after you answer the questionnaire, not like from the day that I said you won. And if you don't claim your, th your prize within 30 days, because if you don't watch the podcast, you're not getting prizes, that's not how this works. Um, if you don't claim within 30 days, then I will redraw. Fair is fair. And I will tell you, hey, 30 days from today will be... Dun, da, 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 this day. So, the third option... Yes, there's just options out the wazoo. If you know that getting a prize would take too long, you don't want to fill out a questionnaire, and you have enough yarn, you can say, I would prefer something from my wish list. Because on Ravelry, you can wish list patterns. Did you know about this? Here, look, I'm going to cut to like screenshots and show you how it's done. So on Ravelry, when you're looking at patterns, if a pattern costs money, when you add it to your queue, you can click a little checkbox that says wish list on it, and that will add it to your wish list. When people go to look at your queue, they can click your wish list tab and buy anything off that wish list that they want as a gift to you. How cool is that? It's so cool. While we're talking about Ravelry, there's one other tip I want to give you that I just figured out this week and I have found it infinitely handy. And that is that, you know when you are adding a new yarn to your queue and you're like, I gotta type in all this information for my local store, which I type in every time I put new yarn in my stash. Did I say stash? I don't say stash. Um, you can go to that shop's page if they're on Ravelry. You can heart them or favorite them and then from then on whenever you buy something from their stash it'll show up under your stash hearts page and then you can just be like oh it's this one it'll autofill all that information except for the information about the yarn because that'd be really hard to do those are some tips for Ravelry for you guys um lots of ums this week uh, uh, uh. oh my gosh I'm so weird <laughs> Not like I'm just figuring this out. Please. Being weird is the best. So, anyway, you guys have a super awesome, crazy good seven days till I talk to you again. I might be moving my podcast more towards Saturdays. I'm not sure how that would work out. Because right now I kind of do it and I try to have it out by Thursday, even if I film it earlier. So, you guys, remember get your sticks ready. If you are going to be knitting, they're in the um, sock prep thread for you new sock knitters. There's kind of a list of things that you want to have before you cast on. If you're going to be doing double pointed needles for the first time and you're terrified, let post in the thread because I have been an on and off again fan of Magic Loop and I much prefer double pointed needles. And if you can't do DPNs, then let me let me guide you. I will send you some YouTube links or I can walk you through it, whatever works. Um, because being able to do stuff on DPNs makes life a whole lot easier. And if you can get past the first row 
with deep ends, then you're gonna be fine. The first row is absolutely the hardest. And after that, it's like smooth sailing. So, get your socks knitting. I'm excited to knit socks with you guys. I really am. And anyway, I will talk to you all later. It has been great talking to you today. And remember, whatever you're doing, if you're knitting socks, I'll knit with you. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Socks! <laughs>